What's going on internet? IG here again today with another best of video. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, then definitely hit that like button and you'll be able to find a playlist on my channel with all the best of videos there. All the best apps that you can possibly install on your Linux desktop. Well, today it's time to look at the best photo manager for the Linux desktop. Okay, so first up we have the default that comes with the Ubuntu distribution and the countless other GNOME or GTK based distributions and that is Shotwell. Shotwell Photo Manager is come, has come a long way since its inception. Uh, it's been, it started out as a very simple photo manager. Nowadays, it's actually relatively feature rich, but it still tries to be relatively simple and ultimately user friendly. So this is the sort of photo manager that you're gonna wanna use if you are just a normal everyday Joe that's taken photos and wants a simple place to collate them, tag them, and do some simple edits. Uh, as you can see, you've got events, which is pretty handy. Uh, it will put all of the photos and videos that you have and date them, uh, group them as per their dates. When you do actually want to edit a photo, it's not too bad in terms of the options that you get, but at the end of the day, the adjustments that you can make and the editing that you can do is fairly limited. They also have some pretty good exporting options and also some decent slideshows, but like I said, at the end of the day, it's fairly basic. It is worth mentioning that all of the photo managers that I'm talking about today are in active development, so you will be able to see more features come to these photo editors uh, and photo management pieces of software as time goes on. So the next one that we're going to look at is one of the defaults from the KDE side of things. And when it comes to a simple image viewer and editor, look no further than Gwenyu. It is wickedly fast and very easy to export and share your photos around. Now the thing that I love about Gwenview is the fact that it is pretty quick for a photo viewer and also it gives you some great metadata information uh, and also it makes it very easy to share those photos around. Now it does have some really fantastic plugins that depending on the um, on the distribution that you're using and what it installed by default, uh, it works better in KDE as it is a KDE native app, but some of the plugins that you can get are actually really helpful. Uh, things like OpenGL image viewing, uh, slideshows, importing and exporting from all kinds of different places on the web and otherwise, and also batch processing, which is really, really helpful. Um, so don't be misled by uh, the simplicity of Gwenview out of the box, because while it does uh, express itself to be a fairly simple, uh, a fairly simple program, it actually is pretty decent in terms of what it can pull off. So now let's step it up a notch. Let's have a look at GThumb. Now GThumb is one of those slightly more advanced uh, image viewers and library management software um, that's definitely geared towards. Uh, having a few more options, being able to edit a little bit more than what you could do with the other ones. Uh, you've got some tools there. You can do your editing there in terms of your adjusting the contrast, uh, colors, focus, equalizing, grayscale. Basically, it's got a lot more features than what Shotwell does. It's very similar in terms of its look and feel and integration with a GTK-based desktop. Uh, and it's also still pretty user-friendly in terms of the buttons are well explained, well laid out, and it just makes sense. Now, it's also worth mentioning, this is an old version of GThumb. Uh, the most recent version, I believe, I'll just double check what version we're up to here. I believe the most recent version is 3.3.3, um, and that is really well integrated into the GNOME desktop, and it looks amazing. Uh, so this is an old and busted kind of version, um, but the sort of features that you can get on GThumb nowadays are actually really impressive. Unfortunately, now it is quite dependent on the GNOME desktop to be able to function well, so that's something to keep in mind, and that's why it's not really my pick. Uh, for the best photo management software, but it's got some great options in here And if you need a little bit more control with than what you get with Shotwell, but still want simplicity G thumb is the one to go for we're getting close to the top now So let's have a look at digicam now digicam is one of the ones that I first started using when I came over to to the Linux desktop uh, And I got to be honest with you. I love digicam. I'm quite a big fan uh, and to be honest, really, I think most of it comes down to uh, what sort of stuff you can do with Digicam. It has a lot of the same features that you would expect from a professional photo management uh, piece of software like Lightroom or anything like that. 
Um, the, the thing is though, I've always found it to be a little bit on the pokey side. Uh, when you're trying to work with different photos and you're adjusting photos, it always seems to be that little bit pokey. And that's why I prefer Gwen View in terms of an image viewer, um, and, and especially when it comes to batch processing and exporting photos, because it just seems to be that bit snappier. Digicam has quite a few components to it, including all kinds of metadata and your histograms and geotagging and really it's got a lot of different tools here that you can sort your photos out by, you can label them, you can tag them. This is kind of like the behemoth of photo options in my opinion. Now also when you do actually want to do some image editing, again they do have an image editor but it just never seems to work the way that I would prefer it to. Uh, you can see here you've got all, all your tools laid out here under the tools but it just doesn't make the most logical sense. So while there are a lot of options going on here and it's great for the professional, it really does take a little bit of a learning curve and that's why I'm going to give this one a miss. So coming in at the best photo management software, I'm going to go with Darktable. Uh, really this, um, this particular piece of software is a great example of what professional level software should be on a Linux desktop. It should look the same no matter what desktop environment you're running. Uh, it should be able to perform really well. Uh, it should be able to have all of the uh, image editing capabilities of more expensive software and it should be laid out nicely and look like a professional program and in my opinion Darktable does. You've got a lot of options here especially when it comes to handling raw files. Uh, you can see on the side here you've got your contrast, brightness and saturation, sa shadows and highlights, crop, rotate, base curve etc etc etc. So you've got lots of tools that you can play around with there and for each of those photos you can export them into collections based on color or rating uh, and then you can go through and develop each one one by one in the dark room. Really it, it's a very professional application that's laid out in a way that makes sense and that's why the dark table takes the cake for the best photo management software. So I'd love to know your thoughts on this one as photo management is something that a lot of other desktops and platforms in particular brag that they're good at. So let me know what your favorite photo management picks are in the comments section below. Let me know what you think as always on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus. You can follow me there, find out what other stuff I'm looking at. And in the meantime, if you want to go back and see the other videos in the best of category, you can find a link to that playlist in the description below. Thank you all for watching. Again, hit that like button if you like what you see here. And if you want to see more of it, hit that subscribe button and you'll be able to find a new best of videos coming to you in the very near future. Thank you all for watching. I will catch you all in the next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.